Independent springing of a different kind is demonstrated by these greyhound puppies seen testing their undercarriage at the official kennels of the Greyhound Racing Association at Chertsey in Surrey. Here, some 250 puppies are born every year. Mr. Joe Gross, who has worked here for over 21 years, has acted as midwife to nearly 6,000 puppies and, at a rough count, trimmed well over 100,000 claws. Joe looks after the puppies until they're about three months old, by which time they're ready to begin training for the track. But first, plenty of hard drinking to build one up. Over now to a training school at Hawley, where the dogs, at an average age of 15 months, are first of all measured and identifying marks are noted. This is to prevent one dog being substituted for another in a race. The trick of using ringers is sometimes practiced by unscrupulous characters prone to take this sort of diabolical liberty. The novice dogs are taken out and introduced to the long-suffering quarry, who has been through all this before. A greyhound's instinct tells it to chase any fast-moving object, and the purpose of schooling is to foster this instinct. The novices are stationed by the track in a state of excitement. After all, these dogs have never been to the dogs before. Partly trained dogs are put in the traps to demonstrate to the new recruits. The complete training period varies from six weeks to three months according to the ability of the dog. Average price of the greyhounds is 150 pounds. The excitement mounts among the canine viewers, as it does with their human counterparts, as the chase gets underway. All it needs is one dog to open a book, irrespective of who wins, there is one thing you can count on, for the hare it's always a dead loss. Before being trained to the traps, the beginners are hand-slipped. Greyhounds always discover that the hare is a phony, but they never fail to give chase, a tendency which brings joy to bookies and a very occasional punter up and down the land.